Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I am going to show you how to create an arrow card. It is a fun fold card. I had it on my blog I think about a week ago and said I would do a video. So today is the day. Let's switch the camera and get started. All right, so this was the card that was on my blog. Now you can see how it is considered an arrow card. It's a fun fold card. It's super easy. It looks technical, but it's very easy to create. I created it again, but this time this section here, I flipped over. This is the back side of that piece, just so you can see the difference you can get with a couple by flipping your pieces around. Kind of cool. So today I'm going to be using a different print. This is from the Awash and Beauty Designer Series paper. It is gorgeous prints but it also has a bundle that coordinates with it. It is the True Beauty Bundle. It is the stamp set and the Organic Beauty dies. The dies will die cut out the images in the Designer Series paper. So it's an awesome bundle. It is a sweet. I'm also going to bring in the Beautiful Shapes dies for my sentiment. So we're gonna do this arrow card, but we're gonna use this paper right here. So just so you can get a different look. So this paper is cut four by five. So four by five, so I want it to be at half. So I'm gonna put it in my trimmer at two and a half, and I'm gonna make a mark at the two and a half inch line mark right there in my cutter trim. And then I'm gonna line up my outside point to my mark, and we're going to cut. All right, and now we're gonna turn it outside edge to my mark and cut. All right, so there's your pieces. Now you can leave it like that when you put it on your card. You can flip the center piece. Maybe you wanna flip the outside pieces and do the, there's lots of options you can do for your arrow card. The next, for the main card part, this is Mary Marlow. I took it from the paper has that in it. I think it's gorgeous. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna score it at four and a quarter, just like you would a regular card. And then what we're going to do is we need to find the center here. So that is two and three quarters. And this time I'll make a mark with my white pencil so you can kind of see it maybe a little bit better. Yes. Then I'm gonna turn it to the side here and I'm gonna line this up at two and three quarters. No, actually I'm gonna line that up with two and an eighth. I did, this was two and three quarters. Now I'm lining it up at two and an eighth and I'm gonna mark there and there. And that's all my markings. So now I'm gonna place it in my trimmer here and I'm gonna line up those marks on the side to my mark at the halfway and do a score. Then I'm gonna right here at the four and a quarter, that's where we scored it at the beginning. I am going to score this from my score line here to my mark. So line that up and score that. Now we're gonna do the same to the other side. We're gonna go at that two and an eighth on the side here to our center mark at the bottom. Get that lined up in the track and score. And now I'm gonna go again to the outside edge at my four and a quarter to my score line at the center here. So line that up and score that. So you can see my score lines there and you can see how it is creating that V. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this to the inside. So this is the inside. And I'm gonna fold on that first score line from the four and a quarter to the center. 
And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to score back the other way at that two and an eighth to the outside. Fold that back. Do the same to this side. And then fold this back. I kind of find it folds nicer if I put my bone folder there. It'll give me a nicer crease. Crease that back. So that's the inside. Whoops. That's the inside. So your front looks like this. And the inside has your pieces. Now we're going to adhere those down. You're going to use your liquid glue. And we're going to adhere this flap right here. So I'm going to glue that. I want to glue this part to the inside. So I'll show you. I can do this like that, and then this like that. Just going to hold that in place. Sets up pretty quick. I love that liquid glue. I can crease my point while I'm waiting for that to set up. See how quick that holds that? Fold it to the front. Got a little glue there, but we're good. Now we're going to bring our pieces back in. And I think I'm going to flip my outside pieces like so but I'm going to show you there's a two different ways that you can do your inside have a piece of basic white that is four by five so I I'm going to show you two different ways four by five so on this one I am going to mark it at two and a half Sure that's four by five. I think it's five and a quarter. Should be four by five. Yes, four by five. Okay, and then you're gonna cut from your center point to your outside edge. Turn it center point to your outside edge. And now you can, let's see, make sure I got it going the right direction here. You would attach it to the inside like that and then attach your pieces inside like so. So you get that V pattern like I did on this one right here. Okay, or you can cut a piece that is five, four by five and a quarter and attach these right to the outside edges and it's still going to give you the same look on the front and the V in the inside. So it's just a little bit simple, simpler, it's a little bit less cutting that you have to do. Um, I'm going to do it this way for the, this one. So there's, you have lots of options. We're going to attach that to the inside. My piece, oh shoot, my piece moved a little bit on me.
there. And then this will go on the front. We're going to attach that. So just another way you can do that inside piece without having to measure and cut and all that stuff. All right, so there's that. Now I took the sentiment from the stamp set, which is called You Are a True Fat Friend. And then I die cut it out with them hexagons that are in the beautiful shapes dies. And then I also die cut another larger one up using the Mary Merlot. Put that on there. We'll pop that up. Just like that. Maybe I'll come in with some pearls. You could, you could use ribbon. You could come in with the pearls. Just a little pop of bling. Super easy card. Looks technical, but not. So what do you think? Pretty cute, isn't it? So this is your easy way out. This one is with the paper measured down the center and then cut from point to outside edge. Same as this one here. This one is the full sheet. I didn't flip any of it. And then this one I flipped and this one I flipped the outside. This one I flipped the center piece. This one I flipped the outside pieces over. So lots of options. Love that gorgeous paper. That is the Wash and Beauty Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up. If you need any of the supplies that I showed you today, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com, or under the video, click on Show More, and there's a list of link of supplies that I used for today. Click on any of those links. It will bring you to my online store. I do appreciate any and all orders. If you are new to my Facebook, Facebook YouTube channel make sure that you like share subscribe click on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you always know when I go live if you need the measurements the link to my blog post is under show more under the video that is it for today thanks for stopping by